Hey guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your own trailer skin in the game Euro Truck Simulator 2. This only works for single player so don't go train on multiplayer once created. The first thing you need to download is the template. This is in the link in the description below and I'll put an annotation somewhere around but it should look something like this. I know it's in a foreign language, I'm not too sure if it's in Dutch or German, but this is the basic template we're going to use to create our trailer skins for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Once you've opened up the template in any image editing software, I'm going to just use Adobe Photoshop CS2. I know it's old, but it does the job just how I need it to be. And you can also do this in anything. Now, as long as it saves as a PNG file, then you're all good. And because it was in a foreign language, I'm just going to show you exactly what each bit on it is, just so you know what you're designing and how you're going to design it. This at the side is obviously what is the side of your trailer, and what you put here will be copied on both sides. This square here will be what shows at the back of your trailer, just like the square box that shows right at the back. And this is only the template we're using for it now. And this bit of the side is almost like the little side stands that you have. We'll show you later on in the video, but this is basically what the little side bits are at the back and on the bottom of the sides of the trailer also. And one thing to keep in mind is you need to keep these outlines. You can change the outline to any colour you want, but these outlines pretty much define the area space and things need to be kept. So keep the overlay for this. It needs to be there. Well, as I stream your Truck Simulator 2 on Twitch, this is my name on Twitch, Josh Hot, and this is basically an idea of what it should look like once you've got it all sorted. As you can see here, this is on the side, Josh Hot, my username. It's all down the side of the truck, and it also shows you all my social media. Not that it really means much, because you can only do it in single player. And then obviously, once again, my avatar, Josh Hot, that shows at the back of the truck, which you'll see shortly of how it looks. And then also on the side here, this is just kept the same colour blue, because we want it to flow. Whatever you have as the outline colour is what's going to be the colour at the top of your truck and other areas on your truck that aren't in this skin. So just as an idea, if it's going to be white, like a purpley white on here, you're going to have a purpley white top, which you'll see later on in the video also. And I'm just going to show you a few ideas of skins that we've made for some of my followers on stream. I tend to do this once a week. I go through and if anyone wants their own made into my game, I make them their own trailer skin. So I'm just going to flick through a few now just to show you the differences and the unique style that we can make with these. Now once you've gone ahead and saved that template image you've got as a PNG, you want to go ahead and go on Euro Truck Simulator 2 Studio, which is also in the link in the description below, and also I'll put an annotation somewhere on here too. And once all that's sorted and you've got it all saved, you want to go over to Trailer Generator in Euro Truck Simulator 2 Studio, and you want to look at a trailer base in which you want to modify. Now the template that you've created only really works for the Crone Pro Liner and the Cool Liner. It doesn't work for any of the others, but we will be bringing up some future texture tutorial sort of things to be able to make them for that also. I'm going to go for the Crone Plof Liner. They're the only ones I've done so far, so it's the easiest one to show you how to do it. So once you click on that, it has to be an SCS skin. Don't be clicking on any other ones. Keep it as this one. I'm going to go ahead to Trailer Skin and Browse, and then go and find the trailer skin that you've just created and saved as a PNG. I'm going to use my own one here, my own Josh Hart skin, just to show you as an example. But once that's done, that's loaded there. Then you want to go ahead and go over to Trailer Properties, and you want to give it an internal name. It's good to keep it short and like an internal name. So if I call it like JHT45, just call it JHT45 or whatever you call it. Say you're called David Smith, just put DST45 for like David Smith Trailer 45. It just seems to work a lot better in the game when you have it as an internal name sort of thing. And to keep trailer mass as the same as it is, and if you want to enable it in AI traffic, be warned, if it's the only trailer skin you've made, every single trailer you see in the game will be your trailer. I'd advise keeping it off AI traffic unless you've created a few textures and a few trailer skins so then it gives it some more variety in the game. Now you want to go ahead to cargo and actually give it some reason to be on the road and some reason for it to spawn. Otherwise, if you don't give it any cargo, it's not going to spawn anywhere in the world. So we're going to go ahead and click on cargo. Now you want to click on new cargo. So once you click on edit cargo, you should come up with something like this. For cargo groups, companies that spawn it and companies that receive it. You want to go ahead and call the cargo name trailer. The cargo internal name, keep it something internal like ITITR, something like that. It's what I've seen before and it seems to work the best. I'd keep the cargo mass the same, I'll keep everything else here the same. Now with it being a square trailer, you want to sort of do like, I'd do containers, refrigerated, liquid, and probably fragile if you want to. Then I'd do these both the same, so I'd normally go for something like Euro Goodies, um, Transdux, if I can pronounce it right, and then probably some other things like Gimbia. You want to make sure you do the same on here as well, so Euro Goodies, and then Limbiga, and also Tradux. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and save the cargo. It should bring you back to this screen now, and then you want to click on available cargo that you've just made and make sure it's ticked before we export or do anything with it. Now, once that's done, you want to go ahead and export the mod and then save it as anything you want, but make sure it is an SCS file. I'm going to go ahead and call mine YouTube. Now, for some reason, it wouldn't allow me to show you my documents. I couldn't record it on OBS for some reason. I think it's a graphical card problem there. Once you've got the SCS file, you want to put it into your Truck Simulator 2 mod files which is normally found in documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2, mod, and then paste it into there. Make sure the SCS file is pasted into there. 
Once that's done, all you have to do now is go into the game and load up the mod that you've just created. Now when you load up the game before doing anything, you want to go over to the mod manager just by clicking here and you want to enable the mods you've just put into the file. I've got a few here, they're all trailer mods that I've created, but you want to find the one you just created. I created YouTube and you want to enable that mod. Once that's enabled, you want to confirm the changes and make sure everything's saved there and then continue the game to where you were. Once inside the game, the quickest way to find out if it's actually worked is to go on the about and go on the trailer browser and go and find the browser for the ID name you've just created. As you can tell by the list, I call mine JHT45. By clicking on it, you can see it. I've just loaded it already and you can see that what I meant at the top. It's gone the colour of the outline that we use in the template. But this is the trailer in a whole and this is what it should look like. Now clicking on a few that we made previously, you can see how they look in the game and they look pretty nice. They are downscaled slightly, so don't use any images that are too blurry to start with because it's not going to look too good on here. Just going for a few of them that I've actually made in the game. No popularity or anything here, but obviously you can say the purple stands out here because we used a purple outline for this one. And then obviously we used orange on this one as well, so orange stands out on the top here as well. If you go ahead and look on the job market, not all the time, but randomly, those trailers that you created will appear, as you can tell. One of my users, Unique Skills, who follows me on Twitch, one of his trailers has appeared here and we can go pick it up if we wanted to. Now if you did put it available in AI traffic, you'll be able to see just now there's a couple of them here. And this is what they look like in the game. There's Josh Hutz and Ace Viper, another follower of mine. And you can just see how it looks in the game. And to be honest, I think it adds that extra variety that you're looking for in the game. But however, the only problem is, because I've only made the square sort of trailers, we only get them in the game and none of the round ones. So we're going to bring out some future content of how to make them as well in the future. I hope this helps you out, guys, with making your first skin or maybe actually making a better one they made previously. But I hope it helps you out. If you've got any queries or questions, be sure to let me know. I'm also on Twitch every day, 1pm onwards. And we're normally doing your Truck Simulator too, so ask me any questions there too. Please be sure to follow or subscribe or do whatever on any social media, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or even on Twitch. Mainly Twitch though, please guys, because Twitch is where we're trying to get all of our attention right now. We're kind of laying off YouTube a little bit and we're putting all our time and effort into Twitch. You can find me there at twitch.tv forward slash Josh Hartz, but be sure, if you want to, please subscribe on YouTube too. It helps me out a little bit, if not a lot. Thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you over at Twitch tomorrow or on the next YouTube video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Goodbye!